Hi, today I am going to show you how to use the Reference Manager plugin for Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to show you specifically how to use the one in Mendeley because that's what I use, but there are other reference managers out there, EndNote, RefWorks, Zotero, all of which have similar plugins and can be installed in very similar ways. So I think that this video, even if you don't use Mendeley, should still um, serve as useful. So you can see here, I'm currently on the Mendeley homepage. Uh, you don't have to be signed in for this part of it, but obviously if you're going to be using any of these reference managers, you will have to sign in and create like your own free account. All right, so we're going to click on Solutions. And here you can see the availability to download their reference manager, which is um, available on your desktop as well as the online version. And then you also have a web importer if you wanted to import citations uh, directly from your web browser. So that's there and available to you and the plugin is under Mendeley site so you saw here I clicked on Mendeley site and you can see here the picture of Microsoft Word and where Mendeley site will show up so if you click on get Mendeley site you'll be able to download the plugin and uh, it will immediately be available to you within Microsoft um, Word. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that here. But like I said, if you click on Mendeley, get Mendeley site here, it will start the download process. So I'm going to now go and open up my blank Word file. And if you click on the References tab, just to click away, References tab, you should see after you have downloaded Mendeley site, then open up Word. If you already had Word opened up, close it and then reopen it to see this. And you'll see Mendeley site available to you within the References tab. And so when I click on Mendeley site, it's going to ask me to sign in. So this is where you would need to have your uh, credentials for your specific uh, reference manager. If you haven't uh, started importing in citations and doing all that stuff, you can create an account. I'll let you do it. I'll just send you back to the Mendeley um, web page to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And then it will immediately start loading in my citations, some of which I haven't been doing a good job of keeping up to date on and making sure the titles are there. But, um, and that's just a, a good point to point out is that sometimes when you're importing in citations, depending on where you're importing them in from, and if you don't have a .ris file or .bib file that you're exporting out of like a Taylor and Francis or Science Direct, but rather importing in a citation from like a PDF file that you're having it scan for, it doesn't always do the best job of picking up all of the different pieces and parts that need to go in to a reference, like a title. And you may also have some duplicates and things like that to clean up. So that's where the desktop manager, I feel like is really valuable. So I have that open here and I'm just gonna minimize everything else so you can see it more clearly. So this is the Mendeley Desktop Manager, and like I said, all the reference managers do have a desktop version for you to use. And so here's a great place where you can um, do uh, a merge of documents, you can uh, clean up your citations, you can edit your citations. So for example, this one, if we go and... You can see here it doesn't have its title listed. So I could go in and I can clean this up. Sometimes you may end up having duplicate citations. So this is um, 
just an easier interface to do those things with and then you can always sync it and then it will sync with the web version, the Mendeley site, etc. All right, let's go back to Mendeley in our Word file. Uh, Mendeley site also provides you with a larger array of citation styles to pick from and so you can click here on select other and you can search for citation styles like ACS and it will it has just a large library of citation styles which really is convenient because um, the ones that are typically used in Microsoft Word not all of us use those so this gives you a larger um, suite of options to choose from. And finally, um, you may or may not have noticed that when doing citations in Word, it does not necessarily like, and I'm just going to change the citation style to IEEE here because that's what I like. Uh, it doesn't do... Um, compact citation. So if you have like 12 citations for one sentence, it will list them out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way out to 12. And it won't hyphenate them, right? It won't do a one hyphen 12 if you use the citation manager that's embedded in Word. It just, it won't do it. But these plugins do have that feature embedded. So if I go in here, this is a All right, so there's my citation, and I'm just going to go in here and click a few. Now, wherever you put your cursor, that's where the citation is going to show up. You can see here now that I've selected these citations, you can also search for your citations. Um, if you know, like a keyword in the title the name of one of the authors, that kind of thing. That way you don't have to scroll through all of them because there are a lot. And then click insert citation and you can see here that it does the very nice one through four. So a few additional things that I just wanted to point out about the Mendeley site plugin before we close out this video is you can see here it says at the top all references so when if you um remembered earlier i have my references not only all my references but i actually have them partitioned out into subfolders which maybe you do as well and so i can do a search for all my in, in all my references which is just a huge amount of references or i can go into all references and i can click here and if I just want to see maybe the recently added ones, because I know that's the one I'm looking for, or recently read or favorites, or I need to actually cite something of my own. So I don't need to see everything else. I just want to see a shortened list or even any of these subfolders that I've created. Now I have a much shorter list to look for or to look through, and that can be incredibly convenient. Um, Another thing here is you can actually, this is where you would insert your bibliography for um, from Mendeley site. Sometimes, depending on what version of Word, I've actually seen it where this option, these options actually sit in the ribbon for references. So you may actually, once you install the, the citations, um, plugin you may see them in the ribbon but if they're not in the ribbon then they would be over here in, in under more and if you know that you've done a sync with updating your library you've added new files in new references that you want to now cite you can just click update from library and it will refresh your um, your um, your list uh, with respect to the citation styles and your ability to um, add citation styles. You can also add custom styles. It's not something that I do, but there is also a feature 
But if you want to edit your own citation styles or add a citation style, if we go back over to Mendeley and go under support, you'll find several help guides, including your citation style library editor, CSL editor. So if we click on this, this will walk you through if you want to kind of go down that road of editing, uh, creating your own citation styles, and then making them available within Mendeley. So that's all available here for you to use as well. If you want to go a little further, um, if you go to csl.mendeley.com, you can actually do a larger search for citation styles that maybe are available to be loaded into um, Mendeley, but are not part of their default. So there's a larger array here of citation styles that are available to you. And um, if that's something that you're interested in, I, I would encourage you to uh, check it out. Uh, one of the last things I want to show you is back in uh, the Mendeley desktop. So if we go into the Mendeley desktop, I wanted to kind of just go back and talk a little bit about duplicates. Um, I mentioned it a few moments earlier, but if you want to check for duplicates, you go into tools and you click on check for duplicates and it will actually do an analysis of all of your references. And if it finds duplicates, right now there aren't any here, it'll actually give you the option to merge and it'll show you what information is in each of the, um, the two files. So maybe you have some correctly written information in one, but not all of it, and some other correctly information written in the other, but not all of it. It gives you the option to select which information you want to merge over and combine. And uh, that feature just isn't, to my knowledge, available in the online web browser version. So um, another useful tip here. But that's it. Um, about the Mendeley plugin and the Mendeley desktop. So uh, I encourage you guys to check it out and um, don't forget to like and subscribe.